The new Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Grand Prix begins next week, but there's a bit of sad news. It's the last one. Let's take a look. How's it going everyone? Blue Knight here and welcome back to a quick Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled update video. So earlier today, the Beanox team released a blog post over on Activision's website for Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, announcing that the next Grand Prix will be the last Grand Prix and they went over what the past 8 Grand Prix have brought to the game in terms of content, which includes over 40 different cart bodies. 40 different tracks, 12 battle arenas, 51 characters, 321 character skins, and over 760 million possible car combinations. I never realized just how much content that this game had until I seen this image. But despite the sad news that the Grand Prix are coming to an end with the next one, which begins next week, there is some good news though. Even though the Grand Prix are coming to an end, new content will continue to be added to the game. How long they'll do this, we have no idea. But the new post Grand Prix content will begin to drop shortly after the next and final Grand Prix ends, including new characters, carts, legendary skins, legendary skin recolors, new decals, new paint jobs, and a long-awaited item that they think fans will be very happy to see. Okay, I want to say that it's going to be the Velo Championship cart. I mean, it's like the most requested thing that comes to mind when you hear CTR. A new challenge system will also be introduced. This gives any driver the opportunity to master challenges, earn Wampa coins, and further customize their experience in the pit stop. There will be challenges relevant to all game modes. Free challenge types will remain active though. Daily, weekly, and monthly pro challenges. Speaking of the pit stop, it will now feature all the content from the previous Grand Prix. Assuming after the last Grand Prix ends, of course. Another new feature that's being added are the new developer time trials, which we heard about previously in, well, a previous data mine. These are going to be even harder than even Oxide's time trials, as these are the best time trials achieved by the Beanox team. But if you can beat all these trials on every single track, you will unlock a special reward to let others know that you've got some serious CTR skills. What that'll be, I have no idea, they don't say. It could be a car, it could be a sticker, who really knows? And uh, that's really about it. I mean, it's really sad to hear this news, as it's been really fun discussing and analyzing these Grand Prix with you guys for the past eight months. And to see that sort of come to an end, it's still kind of sad. But on the bright side, we're still going to get some post Grand Prix content after the next Grand Prix. And I'm very excited to see what's ahead for CTR in the year ahead. Anyways guys, that's basically it for today's quick video update. So what do you guys think about this? Sad to see the Grand Prix come to an end? What do you think we'll see for the post Grand Prix content? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below, and be sure to stay tuned to the channel for even more Crash Bandicoot content coming your way. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. I've been Blue Knight, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Goodbye!